Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. And I'm gonna go over my 120, I'm not sure if it's a 120 or 125. I think it's considered a 120 because of the two overflows. I'm gonna call it my 120. My 120 rainbow tank. This is a tank that I did a, a spotlight on for three minutes for a Bob Steam Fah, and I was so thrilled. If you guys are a YouTuber, put together a three minute video and email it to him. It's amazing, absolutely amazing that he's taken the time out of his channel to help encourage growth in our channels. And when I can, I'm gonna pay it forward. So it's, it's an amazing hobby, amazing fish fam. But I'm gonna go over this in a little more detail. I'm gonna go over the sump. So let's go take a look. Here we go. So over here I got my bio balls. This is the sump that came with it. The water comes in, the water comes into the, the socks. I've got some bio balls and underneath those you can see those are my beneficial bacteria foam and sponges that I started off with. Then over here in the middle chamber is a sponge. Sometimes I put charcoal under or carbon underneath it. And on this side, right now is just the pump and a big sponge intake and of course some runaway bio balls. Check out the video of what happened right here with that thing. Oh my gosh, I have water everywhere. Water everywhere. So I've been told my sump is so loud because I need to change up these right here. Instead of having hoses run in, I need to have stuff on a 45 degree angle and it will stop that gurgling. So, I don't know if that's true, I'm going to try it. Let's go check out the tank. I got this for Christmas six months ago. Piece of driftwood has not sunk yet, so that's why I still have some dragon stone. I keep waiting to aquascape it for the driftwood to sink. So in the meantime, I do have some plants in there. And some of the plants that I have in here, let's say we got some java fern, we got some hygra, we got some bulbitis, more hygra, we got some crypts over there, Anubius nana, Anubius cafolia in the back. My granddaughter and I had recovered all the lava rock with java moss. I can't find any java moss. I have other tanks I put java moss in and it's like a curse, I can't get rid of it. This tank, it's all gone. I had valves in here, all gone. Um, but this is my rainbow tank. So I have Australian rainbows, I have turquoise rainbows, I have a red Irian rainbow, I have some Bosmanis. I think I have, I want to say, a Goiter River? I think it's a Goiter River rainbow. I also have two Plecos, the L177 and the one L128, my Blue Phantom and my queen golden nugget love those they don't come out that often but i shot this at night just so i could get my plecos i also have about a dozen clown loaches now i know this is a pretty small tank for a dozen clown loaches but they're pretty small right now um see i have two cichlids in here paratherops bradori i think it's also a biahe so I have a male and female, they're gonna get quite large. I got, I've got cory cats too on the bottom. I got Julie cory cats, I got Sturby and Julie cory cats. If you're interested in seeing how this came about, check out this playlist. And you can see all the struggles I had, the sump busting a hole in it. And <laughs> Thanks for checking out my 120 update. See you next time.